We have Michael Russell with the Oregonian Oregon Live here to break down some of the most anticipated new restaurants. Good afternoon, Michael. Hi, guys. So never a shortage of restaurants in never. Portland, is there? Such great food. For everyone that closes, we see a couple more uh, spring up. Yeah. And you go around, you check out all these places, and you come up with the most anticipated <laughs> list for 2018. Right. What's on the list for you? Well, it, it's true because we'll probably see like a hundred plus restaurants really? open next year. Wow. Yeah, so the, I, I boiled it down to the ones I thought these are wow. the ones people are going to be talking about. These are the ones people are going to be trying their hardest to get into and struggling to get a ticket or a reservation to. Start with Yonder. Okay, so Yonder, uh, uh, there's a chef named Maya Lovelace. Met her. She made biscuits for us for Portland today. Awesome. And she <laughs> runs a little pop-up in Northeast Portland. Okay. So she's taking that pop-up and turning it into a full restaurant. Uh, with in the front, she'll be selling fried chicken to go. So it went from being one of the most in-demand pop-ups to a place where now you're going to be able to drop in and, and get fried May chicken. And that's May pop-up, right? It was called May. It's also going to be called May. She's going to continue doing her sort of uh, okay. set price dinners. But in the front, there will be this more casual thing that anyone can go to. That's going to be called Yonder, also on Northeast 42nd Ave. Next one is Bistro Agnes. So Bistro Agnes is pretty close to your guys' studio here uh, downtown. Oh, that's good news. It's uh, <laughs> taking over. Uh, it's the same chefs who ran a restaurant called Superbite. Their names are Greg and Gabby Denton. They won a James Beard Award recently. Nice. Wow. And they also run a restaurant called Ox in oh, Northeast Portland. Oh, yeah, we've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to turn their restaurant Superbite, which never really found its uh, uh, footing, into a French restaurant called Bistro Agnes. Uh, that's another one that I'm pretty excited about. And Kachka 2.0, what is that? <laughs> so Kachka is a Russian restaurant in Southeast Russian. Portland. <laughs> and they're, they're, it's another situation like May, where they're going from a, a small, almost like a bar slash restaurant, and they're going to go big. They're going to take their concept and move it about six, seven blocks away, also in southeast Portland on southeast 12th, and open up a, a much bigger restaurant That's with kind more of a room hot in the area kitchen. Area anyway for it's restaurants, so isn't it? Michael, yeah. your last two. I'm just going to go through Magma and Palomar, and those people. Where can they go to find this article? They can go to OregonLive.com/dining. That's the place to go. So I wrote up a lot more about all a five of these review. restaurants. Indeed. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Michael Russell with the Oregonian. Thank you. Thank you, guys.